Hi guys, little casual one for you here. Okay. Welcome back everybody. Now tires, they break and they wear out as do inner tubes, yet they puncture and there's, you know, there's only so many times you can fix them. And sadly, there aren't very many eco-friendly ways of getting rid of these things or recycling. So what about repurposing? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be checking out today in this video. Some great ways that you can reuse your old tires and tubes when you're done with them. Right, before we dive in too deep, why not show the channel a little bit of love by hitting the old thumbs up button, click and subscribe. Help support us bring you great content all the time. Anyway, these tires, I mean, if yours is looking like this, look, plugged, ripped. I mean, I can fit my fi two fingers through there. That ain't no good. Well, then there's some great things you can do with them. So we're gonna cut one up. And to begin with, we're gonna use it as a chainstay protector. Now, I know a lot of the times these modern day bikes, they do come with pre-molded or built-in chainstay protectors, but often they don't cover all the essential areas sometimes. So that's where the tire can come in. You can cut it and mold it and strap it on exactly where you need it to go. Imagine this big old built-in piece of rubber wasn't there. A lot of hardtail frames and a lot of other full suspension frames don't have that. So imagine it's not there. I've cut a piece of tire. Now what you can do is obviously wrap that around the chainstay there and maneuver it to exactly where you want it to go. You could even trim it so that bit tucks up there. You could cut in around so that the chain ring doesn't foul it up and it can really go in all the nooks and crannies. Same as at the back here. And just simple zip ties will hold it on in place. And same can be said for the seat stay as well. So obviously this is a bit of an overlap, but you could trim that down, wrap it around and then you don't get any chips or like where your foot rubs or anything like that and it just helps protect it. Great little hack I think for reusing an old tire. Next up then, following on from frame protection, is a down tube protector. Now, we all know that especially the underside of the down tube gets an absolute pasting from rocks and debris flicking up and chipping away at it. And this is almost a perfect size for where the tire can fit. So you could do it in two sections or one long continuous one, but you see how that tire fits great under there. And then just with a bit of careful and clever trimming, you can overlap them, look. And look at that, it fits absolutely perfectly around there. A few zip ties held it here and there, and you've got a great down tube protector. Also good, bonus, when you're on the uplift trucks and things like that, or on the ski lifts and things, and you hook your bike over stuff, it stops it from getting absolutely battered. Ideal. Okay, the next top tip is more winter primarily, and it's actually to put a bit of grip on your saddle. Have you ever noticed when you're climbing and things like that, that you're slipping around all over the place on the saddle? Well, if I was to cut this a little bit shorter and actually put it on top here, you could even, if you've only got a longer piece, you could just wrap it around like that. It makes a saddle grip. Okay, I know, it's a little unsightly, but it's actually a proper pro hack. A lot of top end riders will do this for winter rides and races, so that when they're sitting down and they're not sort of slipping out the back of the saddle, if you like, so that they're still planted and then get all the power through the pedals. Have a little play around this winter if you want. Remember, you can cut that round here, mold it all to shape nice and neat, a few zip ties again, boom, grippy saddle. Right, this is a bit of an old school hack, one you don't see very often anymore with the introduction of new school plastic mud guards and things like that, but it's actually making a mud guard out of an old inner tube. Yep, by getting a bit crafty with the old scissors, we can make a pretty effective sort of splash guard, if you like, out of one of these. And here is exactly how. Right, measure your piece of inner tube to go from the archway on your lowers up to the stanchions. You wanna make it a little bit shorter because you're gonna actually pull it a bit tighter. So if we put that Around about there, boom, snippy snip, my kids say scissors, there we go. Right, and then split that one up the middle. Inner tubes generally got lines all over them, so to make it easy, you can actually just follow one of the lines. And then once you've done that, using a sharp implement, get supervision if you are needed to have that around sharp implements, pierce a hole in each of the four corners and thread a zip tie through. Let's do that. Right, you've got what looks like a bit of a crazy piece of rubber going on, but it does make sense. So zip ties in all four corners, and then it is literally just a case of zip tying this little beauty on either side of there. Job done. Move the tube so that when you do it up tight, look, yeah, come in here, Mr. Cameraman. 
Move the tube round to the front so that when you do the zip tie up tight, it holds it. Let me get my hand out of the way. At the front like that. And then you'll see on this side, we'll do it the same. Make no gap there, look. And then if I do that, okay? Yeah. Bingo, that holds that. And then we're gonna try and do the same down the bottom here. So you can see that pulls it nice and tight. So I've cut it fairly tight. So we're gonna put it to the back. Pull it down so there's some tension on it. Boom. Same with the other side again. That doesn't look too bad. Snip off all the excess and look, it just stops any of the spray coming up through and into your face. Great little reuse. And look, what's that? That's like one, two, that's like 10 mud guards right there. Cheap at twice the price. What about when it comes to bike transportation then? Well, you can use tires and inner tubes to actually help with this, to stop them getting damaged. Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna damage your old beloved there, no way. You don't want it getting dinged and scratched with other bikes hitting against it. So by using, if you haven't already put a tire on the down tube or something like that, using an old tire or tires, pad it out in between the bikes, it can really help stopping them clatter together. And then the inner tubes, well, those can actually be used as tie downs. Don't bother buying expensive ratchet straps and bungees and things like that. Fashion these little bad boys up the right way and you can actually use them to hold the bikes in place. Secure, simple and pretty cheap and good for the environment. Right, my last great little uh, hack, bodge, money saving, eco tip for you if you like, is again the humble inner tube. And look, I've cut that one up just in half, snip. And now if you haven't got a garden hose or your perhaps, perhaps, uh, your perhaps, sound like Stewie from Family Guy there. <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> perhaps you need this. You know, I mean, it's not the best, it's not gonna be high pressured, but it can help you get in all the little nooks and crannies. All right, it's not the best one, I'll give you that, but it still can be helpful. Anyway, that's me kind of done and dusted for today. I tell you what, let me know in the comments down below if you've got any other great tips or tricks to use with old inner tubes or tires. I've seen people make clothes like belts and wallets and all sorts out of them. Let me know down there, I really like to hear them, but I'm out of here. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you later. Boom. Thank <laughs> you.